Brandon here, and uh, today's super exciting. There's a big release coming from Google in Google Docs that we've been waiting for for a long time, but it's electronic signatures directly baked into Google Docs. So we're gonna walk through today exactly how to set it up, what it actually looks like, the confirmation, the activity log and date timestamp of when actions were taken, and I'll show you how it works. So uh, we'll jump right into it. I've got a fake contract here, um, and I'm using Hipster Ipsum, which is outstanding. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for some filler text that'll make you laugh, check out Hipster Ipsum. Um, anyway, the two signatories that I've got here are a county representative and a partner representative. So on this, it couldn't be simpler. You just simply go to tools and you'll see e-signature. Uh, when you click under e-signature under tools, you're going to see a side panel open up. Now that side panel goes ahead and it defaults to a signer one. And then there are a couple of things here. There are fillable fields and then there's ones that are automatically generated like Dane timestamp when the action was actually taken. So on this one, uh, we're going to need the name. Uh, we're going to need a signature. We're going to, for some reason, want their initials also. And we're also going to throw in the text fields just so we use all of them and the automatic generated one of the date, right? Um, all right, so that works for the county rep. You just drag and drop to insert those. Now, if I want to set up a second signatory, in this case, the partner rep, um, I would click on the insert fields for and you get the option to manage signers. So under signers, we're going to go ahead and call this one, we're going to rename it to county rep, and we're going to add another signer. So in this case, it'll be the uh, partner rep. And it's convenient that it actually applies a different color too, so that you can see in your document um, that it's different people. We'll go ahead and click save, and we'll apply the fields to the partner rep. So here we are under partner rep. We're going to want these same ones, so we're going to do the name first. We're then going to drag the signature over. We're then going to drag the initials just because it's not enough with just the signature. You need an initial as well. And uh, text field, and then the last one of the date signed. So once you're set up and you've got all of your um, fields there, you click on request signature. So this brings up a prompt for you to actually assign the emails of the people you're sending it to. So in this case, we will send it to myself and we will send it to my email and test so you can apply some comments or instructions and request signature. All right. So What's actually happening is Google will take that Google document, it will convert it to a PDF, and it will, yep, we will want to share it because I am external to Eagle County on that one, and it will share the PDF. So at that point in time, the document is locked. You won't make any other changes that will be reflected. When you go to request signature, that's the one that people are going to sign. So we'll flip over to email. I already got the notification. Here we are, Brandon Williams. I've got the comment test. Cool thing is it actually does give you the icons on the bottom so you know who else the document has been sent to for signature. And it tells you uh, by hover what the status is and there's a little icon for pending, right? It, it'll give a green check mark if they've already uh, signed it. So in this case, I'm gonna open the document. And you can see it opens up in the PDF view. And uh, if I scroll down, I'm the county rep the partner rep ones don't even show up for me to take action on, but on the county rep one, if I click on name, we're gonna do Brandon Williams, uh, BW, and so it converts it into what you know signature equivalent and adopt and sign. So once you actually put your name in there, it's kind of ready for you to take action. So all you have to do is click on sign, click on initial, I'll include another uh, test comment there. And now I've filled out everything. So it, it automatically filled out my name. It did uh, the signature, the initials, and the test comment. And so we'll go ahead and mark complete. You get a little terms of signature. It's beta and it's still rolling out. Uh, but basically it just says it's okay that the other people on that know what your email is because um, that's how it's all being handled. All right. So we've done that. Now, if I flip back over and I'm going to bring out my phone because 
in the uh, accounts here, in the accounts here, I've got a signature request on my phone and I wanted to just show you that you can go through this on mobile as well. Uh, it gives me the same option to be able to just open the document and it went ahead and opened the document. So it's a PDF view, it's a little pinch and zoom to be able to read it, but underneath, if you could see that, the sections for the partner rep are actually what show up for me to take action. Same type of thing. If I click it, it gives me the same exact window to actually fill out my name. So we'll go ahead and do that. And once I've filled out my name and my initials, there we are, done, accept and sign, gave me the same exact option. So I'm just clicking through the initials and uh, I'll add a comment done and you can see that at the very top now that I've taken action there I've got that blue mark complete if I click mark complete agree continue close got it so now I've taken all of the action so what we will now wait for it should be right there uh, e-signature completed. So in my primary or county rep account who created the document, I got a notification and you'll see that both of these are now green that uh, the other account has taken action. If I click open, now it opens up into a PDF view that gives me a full activity history. So here's the document. If you scroll down here, you'll see there's the signatures, the names, partner rep and county rep, uh, and it gives me the date at which they signed. And then over here on the right hand side, you'll see that uh, it has two signers and then it actually has the um, kind of the activity of when stuff was uh, taking place. I will say when I first ran it, it took a couple of minutes for the um, outside partner rep stuff to actually show up in the PDF, even after I got the notification, but it syncs up really fast after that. So um, yeah, so it doesn't get more complicated than that right now. It's, um, I can see over the horizon, probably getting to a point where you have that multiple signatories. Let's say that it is that travel authorization request thing where, you know, you submit to a manager, the manager approves, the manager uh, upon approval then sends for signature by a fiscal officer or something like that. Right now, it's just the one level up to 10 people that you can send it to, but super easy to do just in Gmail. It works really great on mobile and uh, yeah, pretty exciting. If you work on workflows and that kind of stuff, um, this is neat. All right, have a good one.